All right, so today we're going to take a look at how to create roofs in Revit. And so I just have this uh, little handout. And so this is three different roofs. We've got our main roof. It's got an 812 pitch on each side. We've got this 612 roof. It's offset two feet up from our main roof. And then I'm going to show you how to join those roofs. I'm also going to show you how to join our walls to our roof. And then also I've got this small roof on the back with the 612 pitch. And it's 26 feet, 9 inches from the edge of this main roof. It's 8 foot, 8 inches wide, and then 27 feet, 3 inches from the edge of this opposite side of this main roof. So we're going to go into Revit. When you're done, you're going to end up with a house that looks like this. So if you have access to it, you can open this off the R drive and then save it onto your U drive and make the changes there. Uh, if you don't have access to this, uh, you can always go ahead and draw this. It wouldn't take very long to draw it. So this would be my walls. And so you can, uh, I'll zoom in here so you can see these dimensions. But this is just a generic 8 inch basic wall, 60 feet 8 inches long. And then over here on the side, 24 feet and 12 feet along the front, 20 feet, 21 feet 2, and 19 feet 6. And then along this other edge, uh, 12 feet by 24 foot 8. And those walls just go from a level that I've created called ground level at elevation 0 up to a level top of walls at 10 feet. So once you have that drawn, we're ready to create our roof. So the first thing is, the most common mistake is uh, students make the roof at the ground level, then they have to move it. So we want to go up to... The level where we want our roof to be. So in this case, I created that as top of walls. So go ahead and double click on the top of, top of walls floor plan and I'll take you up here. Now we're ready to create our roof. So on the architecture tab, come on over to roof, click on roof by footprint. When this opens up, uh, first thing is we need to create our roof. So I've got a basic roof generic 9 inch selected. I'll go ahead and click on edit type. We'll click on duplicate and we'll call this our SATC roof and this is a 2x6 roof. So I'll go ahead and type that in, hit OK. Click on edit next to the structure label. For my structure, uh, we're going to make this a 2x6 truss roof. So my structure is going to be 5.5 inches. And then I'm just going to click on the two over here, and I want to insert a couple of layers. I'll move one of those up. So the one that I moved up, I'll change it to be finish one for the function. This is going to be my shingles, and I'll just say shingles are about a quarter of an inch thick. So we'll make that layer a quarter of an inch thick. And now under row three, where it says structure, I'll change that to substrate. This is going to be my sheathing, and I'll make that a half of an inch thick. So my total thickness of my entire roof is uh, six and a quarter inches thick. So I'll go ahead and hit OK there. It comes back to my type properties of my SATC roof, my two by six roof. So I'll hit OK there. And now I'm ready to work through this. So first thing is my create roof footprint, this contextual tab. I want to look through this um, in my draw panel. I can either draw lines, I can draw rectangles, I can draw any shape I want. I can pick lines. What we're going to use is pick walls. So we're going to pick these walls and it's going to create a roof from that. The other thing we need to take a look at is this options bar. So this is where you specify if you want a slope on your roof or if you want it to be flat on the edge. Our overhang, we're going to use one foot overhangs. And then there's a checkbox for extend to wall core. So I set those, and then as always, we want to take a quick glance down here through our properties. Everything looks good there, so it looks like we are ready to go. So now I'll just come in here into my graphics area, hover over the outside of this wall, and I will left click, and it adds in that magenta colored line. Come on over here to one of my other horizontal walls, hover over the outside of it, and click again. And then, so those are going to be my my sloped parts, my sloped roof planes. Then I'm going to uncheck the box for defined slope, hover over the outside of one of these vertical walls and click there, and then do the same on the other side. 
And so the key component of roofs is they have to be closed sketches. So you can see here that this is an open sketch. So if I hit the green check mark, Revit's going to give me a message that says lines must be in closed loops. The highlighted lines are open on one end, and you'll see these little orange dots. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. I'm here on my modify create roof by footprint tab. I'll click on trim extend to a corner, and then I just click on the two parts of the sketch I want to keep. Now I've got a nice closed sketch. I'll hit escape a couple times just to cancel out of any commands. And I need to go and adjust my slope. So I'll click on this line, one of my horizontal lines. It says my slope's currently 912. I want that to be 812. So I'll just click on that text. And I'll type an 8 and hit enter. Do the same thing on the other side. Click on the horizontal line. Click on the text. Type an 8 and hit enter. And now this roof is ready to go. So I'll go ahead and hit the green check mark. Looks like it cut my roof off. The reason for that is because of the view range. So we've talked about view range a little bit, but in the properties of your view, if you just scroll down here, you'll find under extents, you got view range, click on edit. You can always click on learn more about view range. This is a pretty good link and gives you some more information about the view range and its different settings that apply. So let me just resize this window right there and right here. There we go. So view range, it gives you these different numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then it tells you what they are in here. So first thing I know, I need to adjust my top. So I just want to see my whole roof, so I'll just make that 50 feet. And then my cut plane, I need my cut plane to be a top, be above the ridge of my roof. So I'll just do 50 feet there as well. So I'll change both of those, hit OK, and now you can see your whole roof. You can also click on your 3D view. Go in here and you can click on this view cube and orbit around and you can see your roof from there as well. So there our roof looks good. So let's go ahead and close that view. Takes us back to our top of walls floor plan. Now I want to create this kind of medium sized roof here on the front. So to do it, I want to go to this other level that I set up. It's called plate height. And if I go to one of my elevations, you'll see that plate height is just two feet above my top of walls level. There you go, now you can see it. So top walls is at 10 feet, play height's at 12 feet. So I'll go ahead and open up that plate height view. Now I can see my roof. Again, I still have a, a view range problem here, but it's, it's not going to be an issue. I can work around that. So over here, I want to see my walls down below. So I've got walls that I can select. So I'm going to come down here in the properties of my view. And I want to come down to underlay. So underlay, I want to change that to be ground level. And then I'll click on apply. And now you can see those walls underneath. So now we're going to come back up to the architecture tab on our ribbon. Click on roof, roof by footprint. I still want to be pick walls. I have one foot overhang, defined slope is unchecked. I still have my basic roof selected. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hover over the front of this horizontal wall and I will click there. And then I'm going to come back up to my options bar, click on define slope, and I'm going to click on the outside part of those two vertical walls. And now I'm going to come up here and in my draw panel, just click on line. And I just want to draw a line in here somewhere. The location of it doesn't matter at all. And I'll show you that as soon as we get done with this roof. I'll show you why that doesn't matter. So on this last line that I drew, I've got defined slope turned on and I don't want it turned on. So I'll go ahead and select that line. Uncheck the box for defined slope. Come over here, just click on one of the vertical lines. And I want to change the slope on it. So with the line selected, I'll click on the slope, and I want to make that a 612. So I'll type a 6 in there, click on the other one, type on the text. Click on the text, type a 6 in. Then again, use this trim extend to a corner to click on the two parts of these lines I want to keep. Do the same on both sides. Now I've got a closed sketch. I can hit my green check mark, and I can create my roof.
you'll notice in your elevations that since we're up here on our plate height level that it created that roof two feet above our first main roof so now I'll go to my 3d view and I said earlier it doesn't matter how long I make this roof because when I'm done I'm just going to attach these two roofs so if I click on my main roof or this uh, little medium sized roof it takes me to my modify roofs contextual tab so over here under the geometry panel I've got a join unjoin roof so if I click on it and then kind of look at this stats bar down at the bottom it says select an edge at the end of the roof that you wish to join or unjoin so I'm going to select this back edge of this medium sized roof that I just created and it says select the face on another roof or a wall to which you want the first roof to be joined so I'm just going to orbit around a little bit and I want to get this roof plane of this main roof the, the first roof I created and so I'll left click there and you see how it extended the roof and joined those two roofs all right so now let's go back I'm going to go ahead and close this 3d view and I'm going to go ahead and close this elevation view and I want to go back to my top of walls floor plan so I'll double click on it now I'm ready to create this little roof here on the back so for that I'm going to do that from this top of walls floor plan I'm going to click on my architecture tab come on over click on roof select roof by footprint this time I'm just going to draw this so I'm going to choose a rectangle I'm going to leave the box to find slope checked I don't want any offset but what I do want is I want a base offset from level so right now I'm at top of walls I want this roof to be six feet above the top of walls level so for base offset from level I'll type in a six and I'll hit apply I'll come in here and just draw a rectangle in here anywhere hit escape a couple times so first thing these horizontal lines I need to click on the horizontal line and uncheck the box for defined slope on both of those click on the vertical lines and change their slope to a 612 and then dimension this roof to where I want it so I'm going to click on my dimension icon start over here at the edge of my main roof and I will dimension to each vertical line and then the vertical edge of my main roof so just click on those selections move your cursor up above anywhere and just click again now we have some dimensions as always in Revit I always start on one side and work my way across so this first left line I'll select that vertical line now this text in my dimension I'll click on that text and I'll type in 26 space 9 and hit enter and then click on my next vertical line to the right click on this text of my dimension I want to make that 8 space 8 hit enter and then as long as you did this right that last dimension will be 27 feet 3 inches all right then the last thing is just to move this front edge of this roof back here so I just clicked and drug on that horizontal line I just want to drag it past the front edge of my main roof and I'm going to put a dimension on there that from that horizontal edge to this first horizontal edge I want to make that four feet so I'll put that dimension on there Hit escape a couple times to cancel out of my dimension command click on it click in the text type a four foot everything else there should be good I'll go ahead and hit my green check mark go to my 3d view now I've got my roof so I can join it again so click on it click on roof join click on an edge of the roof orbit around click on the roof plane it'll join and then the last thing are these walls so click on a wall and then you come up here attach top base click on that it says select the roof you want to attach it to so just orbit around and select the roof and you can go around and do that on each side to attach all those different roofs all those different walls to your roofs and that's all there is to it to creating roofs by footprint in Revit and attaching the walls and joining the roofs so thanks for watching have a great day